there is a mystery unfurling among the leaves of the Lehigh Valley. In 1915, 8,000 trees of 21 species were planted on seven acres of land in eastern Pennsylvania. Black oaks, eastern hemlocks, red spruces, sugar maples, red maples, larches, this Herculean undertaking was the brainchild of Robert Hall, the first biology professor at Lehigh University. He and the two well-known foresters of the time, J.T. Rothrock and S.B. Elliott, set up a network of plots, carefully laid out in this arrangement. The project was the pride of Lehigh University and was used extensively in classes. However, this unprecedented experiment was slowly forgotten. What happened? What does this forest look like today? A century-long experiment in forest planting now waits to tell its story. My name is Michelle Spicer, and I am just as excited about these trees as Robert Hall was. As part of my ecology master's degree at Lehigh University, I am trying to reconstruct the history of the Lehigh Experimental Forest. Luckily, since we have a lot of information about what was originally planted here, we can compare that to what exists today. This will help us understand ecological succession, competition for resources, and resistance to invasive species. So, how do we do it? First, we need to record what is actually in the forest today. That means resurveying the forest, counting, measuring, locating, and identifying all the trees. With this information, we can directly compare what was originally planted in the plots with what grows there today. Although it tells us what happened, this comparison still doesn't tell us when those changes occurred, what rate they occurred at, or other forest dynamics. For these, we need two additional sets of information. Aerial photos and the records within the trees themselves. With aerial photos, we can look at the changing tree cover and track the area taken up by different species through time. Because trees produce a ring each year, we can take a tiny little core out of the tree, take it to the lab, and count the rings to see when the tree was established. Mapping out this pattern of species distribution, we hope to develop animations to visualize the establishment of all trees in the forest for the past century. This is where you come in. Supporting my SciFund project will allow me to resurvey the forest, get aerial photos, and core the trees. The Lehigh Experimental Forest presents a unique learning opportunity. It is a century-long live experiment, a natural laboratory for students, and a window into the mystery of forest development. Thank you so much for watching my SciFund video. I hope you join me in pursuing these important questions. Read on below for more information on my SciFund project.